Welcome to Menai. First obstacle on the way out. I ripped my mud guard down. The metal part. Sorted it out. So I'm here with Musa from Aussie Four Wheelers. He's leading us around on, the, on this trip in uh, New South Wales. These are the areas that we're checking out. So we're in Australia, of course, New South Wales. We're not far from Sydney at the moment, but where we are going to end up is out towards Lithgow, a town between Sydney and Bathurst. Now, the two main areas we're going to check out is Noons and Marangaroo National Park. Now you know where we are. Back to the plan. And behind me I've got Torbs and Wayne. Wayne rode off his car before this trip, unfortunately. So here's passenger with Torben. And uh, Alex, who's gone for a bit of a runner somewhere up ahead. He's the passenger on this trip here. Now, Musa does have some mates with him, so we'll, um, we'll meet those guys. Oh no! I just lost my antenna. <laughs> this is not a good start. As I was just about to mention earlier until my antenna rudely broke and cut off my conversation and my train of thought, what are we actually doing in Menai? Well, Menai is our catch-up point where we met Musa from Aussie Four Wheelers and shot his modified and he is now going to take us out into the bush with his mates and show us some gnarly tracks and some beautiful locations. This trip is going to be a bit more about wheeling than the previous trips you may have seen. So. A bit of a balance between scenic stuff and some hardcore wheeling. Stay tuned guys, this is going to be a bit of a thrill ride. Half past midnight, just arrived in camp. It's about two degrees. Time to set up and go straight to bed. Might have one warm beer before I go to bed, just warm me up a bit. Mate, where are we? Bloody North Pole or what? Oh, it's <laughs> freezing. It's between one and two degrees Celsius. Actually, that's a good idea, jacket. Go yeah, get but look at that shorts. <laughs> I've got to find the pants. <laughs> I think my tracky pants on. Coming from reasonably warm 12 degrees Sydney, this is ice. Yeah, this it's is... actually two degrees, but it feels like it's in the minuses. It's extremely cold. It's dry. It's dusty. We need to catch some Z's because tomorrow we may be in for a hectic time in Wusser's backyard. This guy does crazy stuff and we're going to try our very best to follow this guy around so 
much better now. Yes, negative one. This is cold, man. Didn't have the best sleep last night. Woke up really early, just being so bloody cold, friggin' cold. Anyway, I'll take you to camp so you can have a look. So, as you saw, we're in Lifco. Um, elevation, not sure, but we must be up there a little bit. Moose's bloody big patrol on 40 inch trepidors. That thing's a bloody beast. Forbes's 79. You alive in there, mate? How cold are you? Warm now. Really? Oh, the sun's on you. Wayne. How you going, Wayne? I'm good, mate. Are you warm? Yeah, not too bad. There's the old patrol. Now look at these things. They're bloody huge. Down to the annex. Well, two annexes. Got Brad's swag and Musa's in the tent over the back there. Got the cruiser here. In the rooftop last night. James Peru, it was bloody cold up there. Um, it was alright to start with, but then it got really cold. Really, really cold the closer we got to morning. Here's Alex's little, little swag. Man, if we pass the town, I'm buying another sleeping bag. Actually, I was talking to Alex. We are thinking about if we come across anywhere, we can wear those sleeping bags you can wear. Like, you know, the ones you can wear, they have legs and arms in them. <laughs> I'm getting one. Right, we're about ready to head out. No getting hydrated. Here. Just gonna have a look at Musa. Yeah. He's got some kind of airing down device that's twice as good as mine, incredible. maybe. What we got going there, mate? Deflating the four tyres. So it's a bit like that Indeflate, but you made your own. Is that all four? Yeah, all four connected together with a good quality gauge and some fittings with a valve yeah so you can test i'm almost there nice. and um then have to bend down at every tire and keep checking and just stand around have a chat takes only a few minutes and they're all done at the same time yeah okay what are you going down to i normally go down to 10 psi i might leave it at 12. See, we're not going to do anything extremely <laughs> difficult but says him. <laughs> <What's that? laughs> low vehicles are done it. Yeah their low vehicles are 37 inch tires. <laughs> <laughs> You're forgetting we're not in WA anymore. We're not in Kansas anymore, Code Ho. Ron is keen, he's convinced. Let's do this. Awesome. I yeah. like that. Do I get a say on this or did I get outvoted? <laughs> <laughs> Alright Torbs, what do you reckon? <laughs> what is it, two against one? I don't think I get a choice, so... I think I've got one. Wayne with me. <laughs> <laughs> if you can't beat him, join him. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> we'll saddle up and we'll give this a go. <laughs> this is the path to... Where are we going now? Uh, we're going Prado Hill? Prado Run. Prado Run. And it's called Prado Run because we'll tell you when we get there. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God I'm not driving to Prado. <laughs> The metal noises you're hearing from Musa's GU are in fact his coil springs jumping in and out because he has that much droop and that much flex, but he has retainers holding on to him. Every time you hear that noise, it's either the spring dropping out or the vehicle's weight getting back on it. Some special ingredients right here. Which one do you reckon will come most use? 
Courage, strength, intimidation, <laughs> horrifying, savage, international. I, th- I think horrifying and savage probably more describe the tracks we're going to be on. <laughs> <laughs> it says international 90%, so maybe I can't get 100% over it. Yeah. <laughs> I definitely think you'll need your courage and your strength. <laughs> How do you feel? you feel bigger and better? Yeah. It's like a Snickers moment. Yep. They're ready. They're ready. <laughs> locker in. Here we go. It's a bit slippery. Everything's going everywhere. Stay there. <laughs> That's it, straight up. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Slow, slow. Let's go do another one. So Musa, how did that vehicle handle different than mine if it did at all? I did notice it was a bit heavier, so um, he, he could feel, probably I was assuming he could feel it in the body of the car. Yeah, you could so tell on a, a bit slight hesitation yeah. on that middle bit there, Yeah, yeah. which I, I would have done the same thing. Yeah, but you flew, obviously. Yeah. Your car felt light. Yeah, it did feel pretty light, yeah. But when I got to that section, it was like, I don't want to rock it, I'll just keep going. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You're understanding the... Yeah, the inertia. Yep. One more to come down, the yeah. GU on 37s.
Man, look at the flex on this thing. This thing is ridiculous. Well, I guess it's time for me to try and follow the same line. Let's see how that goes. Yeah, nah, I think I'll go around that section. That was a big wheel lift, man. That was awesome. <laughs> that, yeah. You know when you got a good spotter and you had a good ride, then you don't feel nervous. It's good when you got two people saying the same thing too. <laughs> Well, there you have it. Even a GU can lift wheels. That must have been a massive hole. Right, your tail shaft will be fine here. I, yep. I went right over to the black marks. Yep. That's where I went. I've seen quite a few of Musa's videos over at his YouTube channel, Aussie Four Wheelers, and I know he gets out to some really crazy stuff. So I reckon he's just sussing us out, sussing out what our skill levels are. This feels like a warm up, it just has that feeling about it. I reckon there's something pretty hectic coming up. Sacrificial GoPro number two. <laughs> Kamenossi, double cream brew, and chats. <laughs> what do you got there, Musa? Oh, he gave me some corn chips. The unmarked corn chips. <laughs> there we go. <coughs> oh, here we go. <coughs> no, I think something. I don't know. Yeah, chili. <laughs> That's something. Oh, you got liquid paste up your nose, did you? Mm. They're hot. They're hot. They're hot. <laughs> They're more the Carolina. Oof. Oh yeah. <laughs> so that's that's deceiving, really. What's up? <laughs> Oof. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's like, it, it yeah, tastes bitter now. <laughs> Hot and bitter. <laughs> oh. Here we go. 
Alex. It's a gift, that, it's a gift that keeps on giving. Not in a good way. I could get like half. Oh, I had trouble this morning. I don't really want to. Judge about this guy. He's a chilly man. It's all good at the start, and when you swallow it. No, no more thanks. Push over there. Let me in. Rush bars. Prado Run. It's called Prado because there's a Prado on the other side. <laughs> we'll have a look at it when we get there. I'm sussing out which way to go down. Is it like this the whole way, Musa? You come down, this is the only section here, then you've got a little bit of a stretch there. See to the where you can see as far as yeah, where it that, drops off again. that edge, and then it drops off. There's a few little smaller ruts. Okay. Then it gets steep. It's quite interesting, all the way down. To okay. near the bottom of the creek. Yep. And so, then, so it's just like point and shoot kind of thing. Yeah. Okay. Well, for you it is anyway. <laughs> no, it's. Uh, I reckon any car can do this. Yeah, yeah. Even even stockers. Yeah, what about I know, They're just catching fire at the other end. <laughs> 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 All right. Oh, let's get into it. I'm, I assume you're taking option A instead of yeah. B. Yeah. Yeah. I'll take this. I might do this too. I like your. It's the drink, I know it's that drink. <laughs> Viking water. <laughs> now I can just see there's a track right near the yeah. tree roots there that just keep me off going the tree. Into the tree yes. yeah. I like that thinking. Yep. 
Even when you think you're out, you're not. You're dropping the lift. chickening out started doubting this section here where I'm standing so you have to get that right first to get this bit and then you got loose stuff down there I was just thinking about it too much I overthought it but I think maybe that was a good thing because um, yeah just watching Musa come up he gave it a bit and even Musa said his heart was pounding so maybe if I hadn't seen him go up first I don't know maybe I would have done it absolute perfect drive by Torps, you made it look so much easier, to the point where I'm actually reconsidering now. There's popping up and one little bounce, but this kind of bouncing can end up pretty bad pretty quick, and Brad knows that, so that's why he's stopping, he's going to another bite at it, and you'll see the difference that it's going to make. Because when you're bouncing, you have no control on the direction your vehicle is going to go. Alright, so Torbs gave me the confidence to go up by watching his climb. So I'm heading back down to have a go myself. No 
word of a lie, when I reset, right, to go again, I didn't go from second to first. Oh, That's why no. I went backwards. I was like, what's going on? And I put the brake on. And it was like, still going. And I was like, oh, stupid. <laughs> if you went first, and you, you did that. what you did, yeah, yeah. you wouldn't have done it. Yeah. <laughs> I, would have, yeah, I would have just... Don't care. You can call me whatever you want after seeing that. <laughs> you were freaking. Where, where, so where do I get pinned here? Uh, you're bouncing off line, you're left line. But you weren't offline. You, you, you yeah, but no one was giving me a direction. I, I, I looked and no one said anything because I kept going. Oh, oh. I <laughs> normally people are like, oh, you're way offline. That's what I normally get. So I was, I was just like, okay. That's why I went back because I thought I was offline to start with. And then I looked up, everyone's like, just, okay. And then, <laughs> then I went. <laughs> and then I just went. You should. Next, yeah. Oh, you can't. I was going to say, take yeah. your sunnies off so I can see your eyes. Yeah, you wouldn't be able to see my eyes anyway, dude. You actually, oh, at you, you you actually did a harder line. <laughs> <laughs> you actually did the harder line than what he did. You went off on the first one. See that, what sticks out? That mm. was in the middle of his car, underneath the car. You drove over it. So you ended up on a steeper section on your driver's side. made it and there's a the Prado Awesome view. <laughs> awesome day. Awesome day. Thanks, Musa. You're welcome. That was awesome. Are we going that we're way or that way? way? We're gonna go that way up here. Okay. On top of that peak. Oh. This is another track. Where to after that? Can we keep yeah. going over? Yeah, we're gonna go to the motocross. Uh, we're not gonna do that track, but yeah. we're running out of time, so we'll go back to camp. Okay. on a high range now? Uh, for a little bit I was actually thinking can we do a little short track um, on the way out it's a shortcut but also a little bit challenging you guys have got a bypass to the left of it um, it'll be cool I reckon. Yeah, all right Ronnie. <laughs> um, what's your name? <laughs> Motocross Hill. What's your name? You're going, getting us a camp in the dark, you're taking some shortcuts, you've done heaps of U-turns. <laughs> uh, my name's Ronnie the Earl. Far out. He can't hang right. <laughs> Maybe 
I should grow my hair long too. Yeah, people won't recognise anymore then. I think we need to put some food in the oven, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a pork roast. <laughs> Shortcut. Alright, let's do the shortcut. If this looks set up on camera, it's not set up. <laughs> it's just Musa being Musa. Yeah. <laughs> or oh, Ronnie's being Ronnie's. <laughs> yeah. I might have dropped something in his drink this morning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a bit of rumpy juice. Oh, I think you're up here. Yeah. So the shortcut is here to the left, there's a track. Oh, sorry guys, reverse, it's left more to this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so it is Ronnie that's guiding us. Boy, this is where Mark uh, blew out a shot too, isn't it? What's up? Yeah, this is it on this step. That video, the fails, it's um, here. <laughs> do we want to do this now? <laughs> Yeah, I think um, you, this is too chewed out. You used to be able to drive a normal car here on the left and now it's all gone. That's not something true. Okay. Left has become hard now. <laughs> the right has become easy, but still too big for you guys. Uh, I'm at least coming to have a look at it. He's another. He, he loves yeah, it. Right, he's another. He loves it. <laughs> yeah. Far <laughs> oh, right, out, man. I reckon you guys can crawl that easy. Yeah. It's not too bad. <laughs> Why, then we just take this line up? Yeah, and then left up there, yeah. Okay, so and, then, and then that's our road to camp? Yeah. Well, there's a few more little ruts, yeah. and straight out on the road. But this way we've got to do a big, like, triangle. Oh, you're right. So, uh, that's, that's the hardest part of it, but uh, you guys are all twin locked anyway, so it shouldn't be an issue. Lock the bench and go. Famous last words. Musa's shortcut, here we go. Oh, muscat. The muscat. The muscat. It's like a type of wine. <laughs> oh, you can enjoy your beer. I'm banging for a beer. I've got like the beer gimbal happening here. I can smell your beer. It's good. <laughs> I can taste my beer. Which, which way should I go? It's not that bad. This is hectic. This is hectic, man. Should I be going this way or that oh, way? I'd be going uh, left. There's a big hole there, man. I know, <laughs> there is, but there's a big ledge over there. <laughs> I, am I on the right line? Yeah, looking good there, yeah. I started turning all the right. <laughs> <laughs> you almost planted your driver's wheel up on the back of Russ's <laughs> car. <laughs> they won the ledge. No, no, you passed it. Oh, taking yeah. that chance. <laughs> <laughs> Nearly planted on his pump yeah. the tire, right? <laughs> that would be the most interesting situation anyone saw off road, I'm sure. <laughs> well, he kept talking about driving in a bonnet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like stuff you must have. I'm going to back tire. Yeah. <laughs> Musa, you are a classic guy. He froths on this, eh? Look at him, yeah. look at him. He could almost be about to roll. But, he's Musa. He's just doing his thing. I mean, it looks like a crab. Yeah. Alright, so I guess I'll stick to there. It definitely made that look a lot harder than what it was. <laughs> yeah. He just likes to pick the hardest line, doesn't he? Just get yeah. it all crossed up. But <laughs> Which makes it real sketchy when you follow him. Yeah. What an epic day out. I know you're watching Musa. Thanks for the first day, that was awesome. Heaps more to come. Time for a beer. 
or two, or maybe three. Hey, guess what we're having? <laughs> guess what we're having, boys? Uh, beef roast? Beef roast? <laughs> <laughs> We're having pork rice! Ah, oh, look at that! Oh my goodness! That's so different. <laughs> yeah. Actually, we haven't done a pork roast in quite a while. Have we? No, we haven't. It's kind of not quite ready. So, we'll give it a little bit more. Yeah. Over here, we got some rice on the go. Yeah, I, I picked it up. Yeah. <laughs> well done, Wayne. Wayne, cook some rice. That's all, give a hand to rice. Everybody. Jasmine. Wayne, cook some rice. Not Mary, Jasmine. Alright, what's happening with that? What are you cooking? Just the vegetable dish for dinner. That'll go well with the pork roast. Right? <laughs> <laughs> that smells good, man. That smells really good. That's right. It's like a, it looks good. It's got all the right colours. Mm. Yeah, and the right ingredients. That looks better than Harry's cooking. <laughs> 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 oh, I'm going to cough it for that one. Oh, it's not hard. Yeah. Uh, nice campsite, Musa. Good fire. We're here tomorrow night again, are we? Yeah. Awesome. Make me hungry. Enjoy.